Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to create a performance app uh, on your computer using Visual Basics. Visual Basics is a part of Microsoft Visual Studios. Uh, so, <clears throat> so right now, if you go to, if you open Visual Studios, you just start a new project. Uh, click on Visual Basics and then click on Windows Form App. Now what you want to do is you want to just name it, whatever. I called it Performance Show and hit OK. Right now it's just built the, the initial form. There's no code or anything. Um, it's, it's very, very simple. Now what I'm going to show you today is something uh, like I'm not a expert. I'm a self-taught novel uh, programmer I don't know everything and I don't think I'll ever know everything with programming so let's just go ahead and do this real quick for you and to get started we're gonna build the form first uh, and then we're gonna get into the background code that runs the form now what you want to do first of all click on the form that's this thing right here go to uh, solution explorer and just rename it from form one to main app now the reason why you want to do this is because it's just much neater and you know okay that was that's the main window that you want seen so when you see this just click yes and now it'll name it in all the code to form from form one to main app and that's why this down here comes up it could not find the file because it's renamed it uh, so just ignore that because you don't need to know you don't need that right now uh, next click on the form again and you'll see it open up the properties and just rename it. Let's name it performance. And there you go. Now, uh, what we want to do is we want to get the basic, uh, the basic items on here that we need. So you need a label. We're actually going to use two labels. So hit the control button, click on the label one, and drag it. It just creates a new one without having to copy and paste anything. Next, we need a progress bar. We need two of these as well. So make it however big you want. I'm just going to do mine like this. And then I'm going to hit the control button again. And I'm going to click and drag down. So same same thing. And then I'm going to resize this window because we don't need it this big for something so simple. Uh, and then we're going to rename the label, which is label 1, as LBL CPU. And same with the progress bar, I'm going to rename it from progress bar 1 to PB CPU. That's going to show you the uh, CPU processing uh, percentage. And label 1, which is actually label 2, if you see over here, you want to name that LBL uh, RAM. And then same with the progress bar down here, which is progress bar 2, just L, or, uh, PB RAM just like that so now that's all named next you need two more things which are components you need a timer just anywhere now it doesn't show up it's gonna show up down here and then you need a performance counter now many people many of the tutorials I've seen say you need two performance counters one for CPU and one for RAM that's absolutely not true and I'll show you how in the code so first off let's program our performance counter normally you double click on it and it would pull something up you don't need to do that in this case let's go over here and rename this to PC which is performance counter CPU which is for the for the CPU now you'll see this here category name this is where you want to call it processor capital P now that we've done the category name let's go ahead and do the counter name now for that you just click here and this is where I had a little bit of trouble last time uh, when I was programming 
my program that I use almost on a daily basis with my computer. Now, for this, you want to do percent sign, space, processor, make sure it's capital P. And then I was doing this, I was doing Hughes. You don't want that, you want time, capital T. And now that's done, let's go with instance name. And this is underscore, capital T, O T A L, so total. And that's all you need to do with that. Next, let's go to timer and let's rename the timer to uh, CPU and RAM timer. Let's take this and make this 500, which is half a second. Go up here and go true. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to run every half a second and it's going to update everything for you in your, uh, in your process counter or performance counter. Now, that's that's it for, for this. Now we go into the back end, which is all done. All the code will be ran in the timer. It won't be ran in the uh, in the performance load or anything like that. It's all in the timer. So we start off new code. Let's put in a comment right away, and let's do uh, this will calculate and display CPU uh, percent. And that's all you need. Uh, and for this one, let's go ahead and do, now this one's nice and simple. I love this. I love how simple it is to show the process power of your CPU, or the, the usage of your CPU. So, remember we named the progress bar PG or PB CPU, so PB CPU dot value. Value shows the the bar. It fills it up for you. Um, and then space equals. Then do performance counter CPU dot next value. Not next sample value. Next value. That's pretty much that. That's done. Now, let's do the label as well. Label CPU dot text uh, equals. Now you can go PC CPU dot next value dot to string, but that's going to show you a wide array of numbers, and you don't want that. You want something nice and simple. Uh, you're not debugging. You just want to show the performance of your computer, what it's, what the levels are at at this point in time. So, what you, what I do, is I go. Um, so the text is, let's go, the C, no CPU uh, usage equals, and then space, and then always remember that and sign, and then let's go progress bar CPU dot value dot to string. And what that's going to do is it's going to take uh, the value of the of the progress bar and put it in a string format. So you're not going to have many uh, numbers afterwards. Um, and what I just do here is I just put in a little percent sign. You don't need to, but I like it because it makes it look neat. Now let's start a new comment. And this will calculate and display. RAM usage. Now this is where the math comes in is is here. This one here is where the all the tutorials I looked up said use a uh, uh, performance counter to to display the RAM. You don't need that. It's a little bit more coding if you don't use it, but it's not accurate. I found. So you want to dim and dim is just creating a new variable for the program to read and store information. So you want to go dim and I just called it total fizz, which is physical memory with an S equals and then you want to go system dot math dot round and then brackets go um, my computer dot info 
uh, and that grabs the info from your computer. And what I do is, you can see it right there, is total physical memory. And then, before anything else, you go space, um, divide it by, and in another set of brackets, 1024 times 1024. And that will show you that. And then, you might think we're done with that line, but we're not. And then go to string. Now, a lot of people will uh, will copy and paste. And I, I have no issue with you copying it or pasting anything. Uh, I just like to type it all out again. That way I get to know what I'm typing out. So let's go dim. Um, avail. So capital A V A I L. Uh, fizz, which is uh, available physical memory. So same thing. So system dot math dot round. And then you want to go my dot computer info dot available oh, info dot uh, available physical memory um, divided by in brackets 1024 times 1024 end that bracket and then put two string making it a uh, a string variable so it's just going to be you can fill that into a text box or anything like that, a label like what we're using. <clears throat> and then you want to dim used physical memory equals. Now this one you might think uh, is my your system dot math dot round. It's not. This one's nice and simple. So this one you go total minus avail. And it's really quite that simple to get the huge physical memory. Now comes the math part. Uh, now we have to get the percentage. So, dim. Uh, physical, let's just do a capital. So, physical percent, so just like that, equals, and this is where it gets fun. I had to remember back from my high school days <laughs> how to calculate percentage. So it's used physical, uh, and then it's times by total physical times one uh, one hundred. Sorry, it's divided by total physical times one hundred, and then that's that. So then you go progress bar RAM dot value is equal to fizz percent and it's that simple and then we do the same the, the label so label uh, ram dot text equals fizz uh, no. equals uh, ram usage uh, space equals space and go fizz percent and then and again and then just put a little percent sign now nice and easy so let's go ahead and run it we shouldn't have any hangs or anything oh look at that perfect now you'll see you'll notice down here and I did this on purpose that is what you would have seen up here. Now let us let me show you how to fix this, because you don't want to see all these numbers behind it. You just want to see the 77, which is high for my computer, but uh, not because of this program. This program only takes up 23 megs of memory. So, what I did here is I put physical percent, which is this. Uh, it, it's the total number after this equation is done. So what you want to do, instead of that, erase that and go PB, which is your progress bar, RAM dot value dot two string. And that will take what it has stored here in there and it'll put it out as a string. So let's run it again. And there you go, 77, 78%. So that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. And you can have this running wherever you want, doesn't matter. 
Um, next episode, I will show you how to create a configuration file that will put it wherever you want on the screen. Uh, I found out how to do that yesterday. It's super simple. Uh, it writes the coordinates on your screen to a file and then reads it at startup and uh, will place that wherever it wants, wherever you want, I should say. Nice and simple. So this this uh, code and all that will be in my description uh, as a download link to, um, to my Dropbox, where you can download, you can customize it, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, it's completely free. Yeah, if you guys want to donate, I might have a donate button or link down there as well. Um, not 100% sure. Um, I'm not in this for the donations. I'm in this to help people understand how to do simple things like this, like me. I did not know how to do this till two days ago when I when I learned how, and even then I still have trouble. <laughs> um, this here, in nice and simple, it was uh, you can keep this running all the time, and it it will not eat any of your memory or anything. Um, as you can see, the CPU is is going up and down, fluctuates as CPUs do. The RAM isn't going up or down uh, as because this is only using 28 megabytes of of the memory uh, zero percent for uh, CPU as you can see over here um, but yeah the, like it works it shows you it monitors your computer for you um, I might even try to put in temperature sensors one day I don't know um, as of right now this is this program's complete you can change the icon if you want nice and simple I might make it look a little bit more prettier before I upload it but make sure you go over and you grab yourself a copy. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you didn't, well, you know what to do. Hit that dislike button. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting programming uh, videos like this. I'm going to try and do one every couple days or every week. 